Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, for this Kriya, embodying well-being, I've been tying it to this phrase from Peter Drucker, which is that the best way to predict the future is to create it. So if I would like my future state not to be one of illness or depletion, but I would like my future state to be one of well-being, of potency, of balance and perspective, then I need to create potency, balance and perspective, and then allow that state to get longer and longer and more and more pervasive into my day. So rather than guessing, how do I predict the future? I make the present more and more certain. And so this sequence is absolutely activating our energy, building our stamina, and beginning to create a real presence of mind that says, there's some going on, and I'm going to maintain it. I just maintain it, and if I need to bring it down, if I need to rest, if I need to adjust it for myself, perfect. But I'm present. And therefore, I will be present in my future. I will be well in my future. I will address any illness in my future with this presence. And what's important is that the shapes that we're making, the gestures that we are maintaining, as ancient as they are, modern Western medicine is very interested in them. And reading this morning in Presence, from Amy Cuddy, there were experiments that were done. A power pose is one that holds the front body open, exposing the points that are vulnerable, the gut, the heart, the throat. And so there was a hypothesis that these power poses had an influence on human hormone function. If the power poses were truly causing subjects to feel more powerful, if they were actually altering people's internal physiological preparedness so that they would be more or less powerful, then those postures could also cause a measurable change in hormone level. It was time to find out if they would. We hypothesized that adopting expansive postures would cause testosterone to rise and cortisol to fall whereas adopting contradictive postures would cause testosterone to fall and cortisol to rise, cortisol being a response to stress. And so in this study, they had people hold cobra pose, palms down, belly down, heart high, chest lifted, for three minutes of steady breath. And the researchers were interested in one thing, the effect of the cobra pose on circulating hormone levels that included the ones that interested us testosterone and cortisol. So they collected blood samples before they went to the pose and after they stopped holding it. And what they found was that every participant in the study showed an increase in blood serum levels of testosterone and a decrease in cortisol. On average, after three minutes of practice, three, testosterone rose 16% and cortisol dropped by 11% changes that are st statistically significant for both hormones. So we're beginning to evaluate how these postures affect us at, at a level of blood chemistry. How do you predict the future? By creating it. So create your well-being through these movements, through this breath, and through these postures. You are so beautifully powerful in your presence, right? That's Amy Cuddy, C-U-D-D-Y, and her book is called Presence. Phenomenal, really interesting. Three times, tuning in. Ong Namo, Gurudev Namo, Inhale. Ong
Roll your shoulders, roll your wrists, shake it out, and start out on your back. Good morning, and welcome to your practice. May it change you for the better. So if you choose a blanket beneath you, drawing your knees to your chest, rolling your hips side to side, coming to the spine. Keep your right hand where it is, take your left hand overhead. There's inhale, reaching out, flex point both feet. Roll your ankle, spread your toes, and then hand to knee. Right hand opens, right leg long. Roll your ankles, open, close your toes, and then reach into your feet. Exhale, hand to shin, and now go open left and open right. Inhale as you open, exhale as you return. Close your eyes and settle in. You may work here or without holding the shin, reach your hand towards your heel. So there's a little more work through the abdomen. You may work right here or two feet out, two hands out. You can also open your hands wide if you need to, hands to shins if you'd like to, hands reaching toward the heels. Good, feet down, hands wide, notice. The brightening in your belly. Bring your palms down, your hips up, heels high. So you're resting your hips on the backs of your hands. Tap one heel, bring it up. Tap the other, bring it up. Exhale as you go down and inhale as you come up. Work there or two feet. If your low back allows, arms go wide, palms into the floor, puts a little more work without the support through the low hips. And lastly, as we're on day 17 here, lift your hips and shift them to the left, tap to the left of the mat. Lift your hips to the center, tap to the right of the mat. Inhaling up, exhaling down, 10. for two, for one. Put your feet flat, turn your palms open, your hands slightly higher than your head now and feel the abdomen. Front to back, left to right, top to bottom, the space filled with light and ability. Roll yourself up over to Fold your blanket one time and come to a seat with your heels out in front. Knees are bent, toes are up. Reach your hands forward, thumbs are up, and rock back. And then as you come forward, split your hands. Inhaling open and exhaling back. So now your feet are planted. 
And a moment ago, the heels were rising and falling, and now the shoulders are rising and falling. So your feet stay steady. <sighs> we begin to draw the effort and the energy from the navel higher up towards the heart. tall, noticing a little higher through the abdomen, a little more light. If you like, fold your blanket in half, sit your heels wide, shake out your feet, shake out your knees if you need to, blocks underneath your knees if your hamstrings are tight, so that when you sit up tall, you may fold to the right, and returning arms out, fold to the left, inhale wide. And exhale, fold right. Inhale, open, exhale, fold. And take your right hand a little further inside the heel. And then your left hand a little further inside the heel. So the inside hand reaching forward, the outside hand reaching back. Three, two, one more. Sitting tall, the body long, the limbs open. Interlace your fingers and begin a great circle. Opening through the hamstrings and the back. your direction. The chest is rising, the energy is shifting. With this shift of energy, I am influencing my future. I know this present state to be brighter than the past. Know this state now. And come to hands and knees, unfolding your blanket. Knees and shins down and supported hands on the mat so that we can meet in child's pose. Rising to hands and knees, tuck of the toes, lift of the hips, down dog. And then hands and knees and child's pose. 
Inhale, hands, knees, exhale, dog. Come into your pace. Sometimes recently I've wanted to move really quickly in and out of these postures. And then other days I find such a tenderness as though slowly floating into each posture, almost a molecule at a time. So notice that there's a great range that's available. What I would like in my future is possibility that it is not wholly and solely defined already, but that in my future I can make new choices. So play with the new choices now. <sighs> One more wherever you are so that you can pause in your dog. <sighs> and now let the momentum of that movement run through your body more and more subtle level of awareness. Thumbs are heavy, outer arms wrapping back, knees are soft, hips are higher. <sighs> Folding your blanket in half front to back so there's a thick fold. And you step your heels onto the fold and the balls of your feet onto the floor. And it's from there, palms together, reaching up, left hand holds right, and you go to the left. And bring it down, palms together, right hand holds left, go right. So perhaps you bring your elbows in front of your shins. Or if that's too much, perhaps you just bring your hands out and up and tail back and up so that you're listening to your body. You're checking that your toes are as parallel as possible. You're moving at a pace that's appropriate to the slow fold and unfold of these major joints. You're just getting mobile. And so the next time you're standing tall, interlace your fingers, bringing down rounding, spread your shoulder blades up, open the chest. So down and up, exhale and inhale. So this is the modification. Knees bent, heels on the blanket, toes on the floor. When you lift your hands, lift your heels off the blanket. So you start to open through the arch of your foot, through the arch of your back, the arch of your armpits. Three. Two. And one, so that you stand it up and you open out wide. And there's a rush, there's a shift of energy. You bring your hands down the backs of your legs, knees are soft, head folds down, 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 down. Unfold, knees are soft, heart is high. And you're folding with as much bend in your knees as you need to, keeping the low back flat folding forward and rising up. So the hands wide are a way to lessen the work if your low back is tender. Or take your hands forward and then bend your elbows back, sweeping up and open. And then folding down elbows back, inhaling up and exhaling down. Moving energy from bottom to top. Three. Two. One. Sweep your 
arms wide into the space that surrounds you. Feel that you emanate energy from your heart all the way to your fingertips. And if your fingertips were in front of you, your energy would go all the way out. A great field of light, of projection, of protection. And you bring it down to a seat. And as you cross your legs and sit up tall, if that's not appropriate, then sit yourself on a chair on the edge of your couch with your back straight, however you need to be, so that the seat is clean and anchored and the heart is high. Left hand, thumb, and first fingertip touch. Right hand, Vishnu Mudra. The first two fingers together, fold them in. The tip of your right thumb, just behind and above, where the bone of your skull just meets, stops behind the flesh of your nostril. If you close there, it's less gummy and sticky. You breathe in left. Reaching across with your fourth finger, find that same spot and exhale through the right. In through the left, close your eyes. Close left, exhale through the right. In left, two, three, four. Out right, two, three. Continue in left. Out right. In left, pause full, out right, and right hand down. Feel the left side body, awake and aware, participatory, ready. Right side brain. Same mudra, two fingers down, use your fourth finger, close left in right, two, three, four, close right, out left, two, three, four, in right. Left. In right, pause full, out left, right hand down, notice the right side body, let the right side body become equal to the left side body in sensation and temperature. Let the left side brain become equal to the right side brain, bright and accessible. Good. Roll your shoulders so that this is the place from which we take our action. This 
equanimity of mind, this higher perspective. This is the place we want to practice, to use, to be familiar with. Make your hands into little claws. And they cross, the wrists cross. It's a bend of the elbows more than a movement of the shoulders. Inhale as your hands open, exhale as they cross. So the modification is that the hands are low. If they need to be there down here, across in front of the chest, higher. Eventually the full pose, they cross above the head. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Now as you need to, you take a break, you bring them lower. And then as you can, you bring them back up. Only you know. Inhale, exhale. Close your eyes and settle in, charging the space around you, charging the space within you. More presence, more awareness, more of you. Build the charge around you. You have 15 seconds.
five, four, three, two, one. Out and down, let it go, let it through. All the distress, effort, out. And now sweep up, soft, golden and high. Three sips. Hug your heart up, your chin in, your hook your thumbs, reach up. Gather your pelvic floor up, your navel up, your heart up, your throat. Hugging in toward the midline, up to the midbrain. Lift your chin as needed and exhale wide and down. As though spreading what you've made to the field around you. And as you bring hands to thighs, be totally receptive, as though expecting the magnificence of the day to rise to meet you, because your magnificence is ready, and you are calling and expecting and receiving the magnificence of your day to rise and to meet you. Use your mind and change your state. In that magnificence of yourself, without changing your expression, feel the sensation of a smile at your mouth. The sensation of a smile at your eyes. through the tissues of your brain, the whole head smiling, the magnificence is met with a smile in your lungs, be daring, expand your mind, the smile is in your heart. in your abdomen, in your inner organs, the innocence, the contentment, the expectation of magnificence in your belly. Return to the crown of your head and there, a point of rose-colored light that expands, growing wide, dropping down, covering your head, your cranium, your skull, the tissues of your brain, the tissues of your eyes, filling your sinuses, your inner ears, the little bones of your ears, your teeth with pink light, rose-colored light through the body, Bring it down and down through your bones. Through your organs and your tissues. The light of renewal. that each cell is bathed in attention and rose-colored light. All the way to the pelvic floor, filling the bowl of the pelvis, spilling into your lap, and the space around you is lit. And just take it with you to your back. Legs go out long. If you like padding your body, unfolding the blanket twice. Watch how this sensation and this radiance will come with you. Lift your hips, put your palms face down, put your heels out. Draw a knee up and down, up and down. So you may work right here, lifting a knee or lifting a heel. If you need to protect your low back, keep your knee bent on the floor. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Lots of adjustments, lots of possibilities. Listen to your body. And eventually the legs are straight. Maybe today, maybe not. 
Listen to your body. And three, and two, and one. Free your hands, turn your palms over, widening your heels, let your heels be loose, let your feet be loose, let your knees be loose and your tail. Lucifer. You'll bring yourself all the way up and over. Arms extend off the mat. Put your palms down and set your hips back. So from child's pose, rise up over your cat and bend your elbows <laughs> and press back. So the first thing we're doing here is warming through the shoulders, through the chest, a little bit of a press, a little bit of a return. If that's where you work, that's awesome. Otherwise, drop your thighs on the floor, a little lift of the knees, and as you straighten your legs, it lifts your hips back. So as you come forward, there's a lift of the chest. So you have a rocking child. The thighs and belly up and back. This is a modification. As we come into day 20, as we've built some strength and some space in the spine, then I will add on. Three. So that our practice is cumulative. It doesn't all have to happen at once. And child's pose, pressing back, arms are long, space in the hips. And from here, you'll roll your blanket back towards you, back towards you, back towards you, so that you have a log. And set that forward to put your knees right over that blanket, so it's under the backs of your knees. And see as I sit down how my feet fall forward, then my legs are not helping me. Draw your heels down, draw your toes back, and then find the blanket. Because with that action in the feet and the legs, now I have some action that supports my fold. So most modified, hands on thighs. Exhale, folding forward, inhale, rising up. We're generating heat in the spine. If we warm the spine, it becomes more pliable. Hands to shins, perhaps, or hands to the toes. Find the place where you can feel the clean hinge of your hips. Exhaling, folding, inhaling, rising.
three, two, sit up tall, pause, and just float your heart over your hips. You'll feel oh, perhaps an uprising of energy through the spine, through the spine, through the spine, turn the chin, let it through. And so to move this heat, to shift that energy that's coming through the spine, build your cross-legged seat, however you need to have your blanket or your blocks or hop onto your chair. And then with legs crossed, heart high, start out with your fingertips facing you, turning left and turning right. And as your body is ready, the ribs rise, a little bit of an arch in the back, and then the thumbs onto the shoulders. Listen if there's any pinching or any sharp pain in the low back, then move more slowly. Inhale left, exhale right. Three, two, one. Pause tall. Noticing. From there, hands and knees, if you choose, unfolding one time, knees and chins on the blanket. And round your back and tuck your chin. And then roll your heart forward, your tail high, round and release. Feel the movement of your spine initiated at your hips. Turn your thumbs forward, turn your fingers to point away, try to pull your hands apart. For five, four, three, two, and one. Set a block between your heels to come to kneeling. So you have support for your seat if you need to. Set up two. Turn your chin to the right. Down across the chest to the left. Up and over to the right. Down and across. How we're moving up through the spine. Reverse your direction, be gentle and wise. Pause. 
noticing through the brain, through the crown of the head. Receiving that change. Right hand reaches left and back to your thigh. Left hand reaches right. So reaching. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return. Feeling the sides of your spine. This final preparation so that as we move into our mantra, the spine is ready from base to crown, front and back, left and right. There's access through what's called the sushumna. We'll use four syllables as our mantra. They are the consonants of sat nam. So S T N M, sa ta na ma. Sa is birth, the beginning. Ta is life, the continuation. Na is death, the conclusion. And ma is the return. There is a cycle to everything, to this class, to a meal, to a work project, to a life, to a relationship. And so we free ourselves up from the places that hold us back by being a part of this cycle. Sit tall, notice your spine. And allow yourself to be a part of every aspect of living how we are born, how we live, how we die, how we return, that there isn't an ending. One elbow back, hand closed, one hand out, hand open. So as you move, the hand that's open draws back like you're pulling something towards you. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, Ta na ma sa 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 ta na Ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma. 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 Sa, ta, Na ma sa ta 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 
na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na thirty seconds sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na one more sa ta na ma and set it down slow inhale three sips pause and just gather the heart up the chin gather up the pelvic floor feel the whole body full of light energy sensation and release There is a fullness available when we are willing to be a part of each step of our lives, to begin, to continue, to conclude, to let it go, to let it return. There is a fullness in us and around us. Bring your cross-legged seat in front of you and gently circle. down in the sea. Any tension you accumulated, smooth it out. Eyes closed more and more of an interior experience. And reverse your direction. Attend to the bones of your spine. And then pause. And take this great body of light to rest and rest in it. Can you rest in your body? Today, just laying the blanket over my belly, my hips, turning my palms open.
if you have time, stay longer. If you have a cat on your belly, stay longer. If you must return, do it slowly. One knee bends and then the other. And you bring your palms together. And you lift your feet. And you rub your feet together. And roll yourself to a cross-legged seat. all sweeping wide that you have done your physical body such an incredible service palms together bring it down the middle gather it in and you have done your mental body your clarity of thought your possibility has been cleared opened established Palms together, bring it to the forehead center. I bow to all of it, my physical body, my functioning, pranic, energetic body, my mental body, my thinking, and all that I believe in. I bless all of my bodies. Long, sat, short, nam, inhale. Satnam, love. Namaste. Have an afternoon full of purring, full of bathing in the sun, full of chasing, rolling on the floor as you like. Get your happy cat on and you will be well more often than not, and you will know that tomorrow you can make it well too. Meet all of it with your muffler off and your heart high. I will see you live on Thursday and then vinyasa on Saturday. Newsletter comes out this week, so sign up if you don't have it, so you can get it in the email. See you soon. Good, isn't it? It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's a bad. <laughs>